welcome back to my channel. So today it is Thursday, the day before I go to Denver. So I'm really, I'm so excited to go to Denver. Um, and I'm going to Denver obviously to meet my new coach, Adam from Team Elite Physique. And I'm also going with my bestie, Jay Jocelyn. So this trip is gonna be really, really cool. I'm really gutted that Max isn't coming because I wish that my like my boyfriend would come with me and like obviously be there with me, but he can't be there for everything and I understand that. So but either way I am excited and I'm gonna miss him loads. But we're only going from Friday to Monday. So we're only going for the weekend and I'm also going out there to go and teach a posing seminar. So for me, that's amazing. Like I've always wanted to go and teach abroad, posing abroad. So for me to go and teach at Adam's con like prep convention center is gonna be so fun. So I'm very, very excited for that. I'm currently packing. I'm going to London today to stay at Jade, so I literally need to pack within like the hour. And I don't know why I didn't do it yesterday, but I just didn't, so. Also, I forgot to say, I am now an ambassador for Glutey Wear. So if you haven't seen a lot of my videos, I've been wearing this particular clothing brand, Glutey Wear in the UK, and they are like one of my favorite brands and I really, really, really am happy to be part of their team because I really love everything they stand for. They stand for women empowering, making anyone and everyone feel good in the clothing that they wear. For me, I'm I'm buzzing to be part of the team and yeah, but I am only going to America for three full days and I'm taking four leggings because I just love their I just love their clothes so much. So yeah, hopefully I will have a discount code for you soon. Um and I will share that with you guys and I'm gonna be doing a clothing haul soon as well. So look forward to that. Yeah, I need to pack. But I'm excited. I'm so excited. So I'm gonna take you guys along with the journey with me and I will see you soon. Hello! a great shoulder session with my friend Hannah and I feel so confident. Adam already is like, you need to be careful on your shoulders and make sure they don't get too big. I'm like, I'll try. So I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really lean today. So I'm excited to go to Denver tomorrow. in the morning, no, no, no. <laughs> this is how you become really, really cheap. You bring your own tea bags and you ask for hot water. Because you bring your camera. That's what you do. Because I ain't paying £2.50 for a peppermint tea. Look at my hands. Jesus. This girl, honestly. It will keep me full. Three hugs. Where are we going? Colorado. Denver. <laughs> Show me your, show me your face yeah? when you're not tall enough. When you're not tall enough to, <laughs> to go through custom. <laughs> and then, do you want to see mine? Not very nice whatsoever. My veins are popping right now, Jesus Christ. Don't know why. Quite hot though. So we've just literally arrived in Trader Joe's and well we've arrived in Denver the first thing we've, do, we've done is come to Trader Joe's which is like a supermarket and it has so many good seasonings and so many just really nice things and that's the first thing we've done we've literally got our suitcases and we put them behind the desk as well so I'm literally currently looking at all this oh, just, just I'm in heaven. I want to live here already. This is what I've come to Denver for. So many people have recommended this and I'm going to buy so many of them, like right now. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. All the seasonings for prep because obviously 
I can't have anything else. Weekend, I'm gonna need loads of turkey mints. Third packet. <laughs> How is this okay that they have these right above the vegetables? That doesn't make sense to me. Like, look. All of these different chocolates right above the veg. Where are we? <laughs> We're there. I was actually like, where are we? One second, I'll get you. Getting all the angles, babe. I think I'll be like, I'm like right here. You're down the bottom, you're at the bottom. The and then we sad. got Phoebe over here what, what? on the worldwide map. England. Putting in, representing England what, what? on our worldwide map. Where are you from in England? From Brighton. Brighton, England. What, what? Right there. Who's coming next? China was here last week. What? <laughs> actually see where everyone is. Great. I feel like I need to prepare myself for this. <laughs> It's sweet for so long. This is insane. One more trap. Where do I go? The whole wall is going to get filled up, so you can go up tall, you can go down low. Yeah, that's a good spot. <laughs> Come on. What are you saying? I see one for So I'm about to go and do cardio and she is <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> Living her best life, aren't we, Jay? Living her best life. Literally. This is what you get when you get up early. You yeah. Get yeah, so I didn't get up early and do cardio, which is bad, so I don't get this. <laughs> this is just madness, honestly. Like what the fuck? This is so cool. So it's like Nine o'clock right now. I'm about to do cardio. Um, because I didn't do it this morning, so I'm doing cardio now. And we're gonna do hip training. And yeah, I'll hopefully film a little bit for you guys as well. Cardio done. After a nine and a half hour flight, it will be easy for this. It ain't, but it has to be done. Okay. This is how extra he is. Look at this car. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and this is his other car. Same. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Good morning guys, so I am, um, I've just had breakfast, just got ready, and I'm ready for the day. Got my Team Elite Physique t-shirt on that I got yesterday, my glutey wear leggings, so I'm matching. Uh, feeling really good, we're gonna go to the prep center today in like the next half an hour or so, and then get all testing done, do a posing seminar 12 to one, and then do more testing. And then we're gonna have a fun time tonight. I think we're gonna go for dinner, um, I'm kind of explore Denver a little bit because we're not here for long. We're only here for till like Monday um, and it's Saturday today. So we're going to kind of explore and have fun. And yeah, it's going to be a really good day. We're here. <laughs> this is my oh, that's how you open the car. Legit. Scoot, scoot. Scoot, scoot. <laughs> Put your feet on this. 
Hand in a fist. Welcome to Staiku. Please face the tower. Scanning your body now. Please hold still. Body scanning is now complete. My so like hit, hit your like hit a hit a lap pose, right? And I want you guys to see this too. You see hit, you see this right here? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's your yeah, lap. Like okay. Oh. All the way down there. Yeah. yeah. So all the way to here. All the way to here. Yeah. This is her lap. So if you're doing like heavy deadlifts or anything like I that. Do deadlifts. Well. RDLs I do that. Look, look where it is, right? We're trying yeah. to get a smaller waistline. How do we do that when that's... Yeah, if you do... Yeah. So when you hit your side pose, hit your side pose, this, this is last. Yeah, all the way it's all there. So we, you can actually get this. This is a muscle. We yeah. can make this somewhat gone and be like to here. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. That's so interesting. Which one? This one. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> Alright, so this is the uh, metabolic test. Uh -huh. This is going to tell us exactly where your calories should be burning, where you should be at, like where your metabolism is at, so uh -huh. we know how close we are with our calories, which I think we're pretty close at this point. We're pretty dialed in. But <laughs> we'll know like, how adapted you are throughout your diet this time, because we are dieting a little harder than I'd like to. Uh -huh. um, and then we'll know like how to take you out of the diet. Especially, that's like the most important yeah. thing. Like when you come out of the diet, we'll know how many calories you should be having um, where you're not gaining weight, but you're still like correcting your entire Because this prep, you know, we didn't give you too much time, so like it's more aggressive than I'd like it to be. So this will tell us how to bring you out of it healthy. So, all right, so what you're gonna do is, can you breathe in through your nose? Can you breathe in at all through your nose? Nothing no. at all? Okay, perfect. So then you're gonna have this in your mouth. You have this in your mouth and just make sure you don't have letting any air out of the sides of it. So keep okay. it tight sealed up, okay? And all you're gonna do is you're gonna breathe in for, and it's gonna take 10 minutes though. So it measures your oxygen and the temperature of your oxygen. So it's like breathing through a snorkel for 10 minutes. Okay. So, alright. And just chill. Um, basically, you having a 1915 calorie metabolic rate. Yeah. Sets you up for having more calories, like when you're when you're dieting, or we can hit reach greater caloric deficits because we don't have to uh -huh. that low. So we'll never go below like the American Diet Association's guidelines for calories. Yeah. Because it's unhealthy to go that low. So that's 1,100 calories. That's what they say. Okay. Anything, yeah. Anything below that should require doctor supervision, even yeah. from, like knucklehead trainers. Yeah. All the time. It's you shouldn't do that. It's unhealthy for you. It causes huge metabolic adaptations. So this just tells me that we're far, we're into the diet, and you're not having these huge adaptations yet. Mm. So. The cool thing is, you know, when you come out of this diet, you shouldn't have like any bad rebounds or anything. Yeah. Like what did you find out? My metabolic rate or calories wise is like 1900. 1950. So, which is quite good coming out yeah. of shows. That means like coming out of shows anyway, I've always been quite good in terms of weight and like calories are usually quite high anyway. So, but yeah. All that said, I'm going to figure out what our true caloric deficit is and see if it's too much and that could cause problems too. So like if you diet too hard, you can actually slow your progress because you're dieting too hard. So I don't want it to be more than 30% deficit total. So I'm going to redo the math on that and add in her weightlifting, her, her cardio, her activity per day and then see if I'm, if I'm going too aggressive because we are going more aggressive than I'd like to go just because we didn't have a lot of time for this prep. So it's really hard to like nail a prep if you don't have adequate time. And so I just need to just redo the math and see, okay, how much more do we have to lose? What's the caloric rate? What's the true deficit? And is it realistic to even hit a peak at 100% for this show in the next few weeks or the next time frame that we have? And so it's simple math. It's like 1.2 pounds divided by weeks or whatever. And if we're overshooting, then we have to see the adjustments we can make. So it's always like an adjustment we need to make versus cost of metabolic adaptation. So it's, we'll, we'll find out all those numbers for tr like truly today, which is really cool. So I've just done my scans. It was me. On your shoulder too. What have I got? Uh... Postural imbalance. Okay. Look at your left side versus your right. Oh wow, yeah, I can see that. We'll have David look at that today too. 
That's really interesting, actually. I uh, will do it off there. Uh -huh. Yeah, that'll be easy. So Phoebe's getting her blood done right now, checking she's all healthy. Healthy hormones, happy life. Max said you're a genetic freak. Me? Yeah. Why? Because I sent him your results. Uh, uh. Last time I went to the doctor, was like... You fainted. Yep. Did you really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. So she's at 17.72. But you see like how crazy Kelly shoulders look? Like, and she's 15.54, so that's like the typical ratio you want. Like 15, 14 is like a bikini ratio where you're not looking too crazy. Where you're like so wide, this is getting close to like figure ratio. We have to figure out if we get her waist smaller, which we have to get her waist smaller, she can't go on stage with 25 or 20, like 23. So if we did that, then she'd have a 19 inch ratio. And that would be crazy, you know what I mean? Like that's just too much. So, how do we get our waist smaller with keeping this ratio not being so dramatic with still giving her the soft shoulder look that she has without losing too much size? So I don't, that's, a, that's, that's why we do this, you know, that's a, that's a hard one to figure out. I haven't seen this before you know, on someone as good as her, so. And then um, waist ratio, the hip ratio, it's 11.93, that's perfect. We want to be 12 inches, so that's great. I'm unique at the best. <laughs> yeah, her, her, her hips are, her, her legs too are a little bit big. We want to get them probably in the 19, 19 range, so they're like maybe an inch big, two big. This is about where we want to be, 19 or so. So that could be body fat, she's still got time for the show. Um, I'm just curious at what's going to happen here. This, this kind of dictates everything. And so the waist. Yeah. So I need to get my waist smaller in the next six weeks. Significantly. Will that come down? That will probably come down with body fat as well, but like not. You'll lose a, on average a quarter of an inch a week. So yeah. At six weeks, you'll lose one and a half inches. Okay. So we need to lose a half inch more than regular. Uh huh. Which could be food, inflammation, things. Yeah. Like, I don't know. We haven't done it yet, you know. So we. Need yeah. Lose, yeah. So we need to lose 0.8 inches more than normal. Okay. So that's not impossible. No. Yeah. So, it's just, uh, yeah, program design is going to have to be reassessed. Yeah. So, yeah. But that's what we're here for. Okay, so, done all my bloods. So, we're going to find out those results probably in the next, like, few days or so. Or probably actually, like, today. We obviously saw earlier about Adam kind of very briefly went through my scan with me. Um, and he said, obviously, that my back, nothing is out else is actually an issue and you know I've said beforehand if you've seen any of my videos before that my shoulders are quite dominant but actually in person he said that they're not as dominant as he thought so he's really happy about that he just wants to be careful of my back but we're now going to train shoulders because he, earlier he was like I don't think we're going to be able to train shoulders like before I came over here and then he saw my shoulders he was like okay we're, we're all good we can train shoulders so we're going to train shoulders now <laughs>
Yes. Yeah.